and welcome to Diamond in the Rough. I'm your host, Batsile. Now, we all know that our modeling can be seen as a gateway into the beauty and entertainment world, and it's a cutthroat world at that. And what makes this reality show different from the others? Well, have a look at this. I'm telling you, you're not going to be disappointed. From eight cities along the De Beers Diamond route, 16 girls will be chosen. They will be cut, polished, groomed, and cut again until there's only one diamond in the rough. Our scouts are the first gatekeepers. Get through them and you might have a chance. What's the height template that you're looking for? Okay, for us, the minimum height requirement is a 1.72. Mm -hmm. We can, you know, yeah. tweak it a bit to 169 if she's, you know, got that X factor. What's the X factor? Um, it's one of those things that is difficult to explain to somebody because, of course, all of it happens in Lerato's life. <laughs> of course. As someone that is exceptionally beautiful. We are looking to take somebody and to groom them in this show. Someone that catches your eye and you can't stop looking at them. That is the X factor. I'm looking for potential and not looking for that polished girl. A model without putting it badly, it's like a moving hanger, you know, so we showcase uh, clothes on, on a figure. I think when you see a girl, you know whether she's either got it or she hasn't got it. I'm afraid it's a no. Okay. Look at a cute face, but... Sorry. Okay. I'm looking for what we all look for. I'm looking for X Factor. With Diamond in the Rough, you're not, trust, you're not just trying to find someone's going to walk a catwalk or pose for a shoot for half a day. Personality plays a very important part. It's not everything, but it definitely plays a large part too. I wouldn't say personality is important, but a good attitude is um, because ultimately, you know, you're not there to make friends. We all know this is a competition, but we get along like a house on fire. We have some arguments. We argue over the pool table. It was two girls that was fighting over a bed. Are we seriously arguing over a bed, guys? Like, no. I must say we're a pretty diverse group. I don't know what they're looking for, but I think I still have got a chance because, I mean, we're here to learn. So this is a nice little lesson. Oh, well, she's won a few beauty contests. I think that justifies her confidence. They can call me because that's, that's the reason why we're here. Yeah. It's quite intense. Yeah, it's not nice. Being here and other girls are like going in maybe three and four years. Yeah, so I walked in knowing that I actually knew the requirements and I knew that I didn't meet them. With the faces of the professional models staring back at them, some are understandably intimidated. Good morning, ladies. Welcome to your first photo shoots. <clears throat> You're gonna learn today what most of your career as a model would be. When I got there on the set and for the first few shots, it, it was just all confusing to take everything because the photographer is telling you to do this, the instructor is telling you to... What would your face touch? Have you a nice have a movie going on in your head? You know, turn your neck or tilt your head and all of that. The last three weeks saw our young models battle emotionally, physically and psychologically to stay in the game. Last week was no different, as the ladies gave their all in their very first photo shoot. With the previous shoot we had, well, I wasn't feeling like I'm um, top three or anything. I was just in the middle, and that's exactly what happened. Two were eliminated from the competition. If you are one of the girls who goes home today, you will be given a bursary to study whatever you are interested in or to finish what you are already studying. Eleven are left. Who will go this week? How was the shoot? Oh my gosh. It's tiring, but I enjoyed it. It was very fun. You had fun. I, I had fun. Had I had, fun had serious fun. You know, when you're dancing all by yourself in front of the mirror, it doesn't mean it's necessarily going to look um, a great in front of the camera. That's food for thought coming from Asnath. And it appears her words are ringing true for Spoka. Um, I'm scared that I can't do that. Yeah, I'm very nervous. Extremely nervous. It's getting very unpredictable. Competition's tough. Because there's less people. It's really happening. It's happening faster than it was actually before. 
I really didn't think that I could do it, but this competition is teaching me so much, like so much self-confidence, courage as well. Um, I was really nervous at first, but I kind of eased into it. So. Oh, that's the part. Well, public response was hectic, yo, 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 especially when the guy drove past and I was like, beep, I'm like, hey, this is weird. <laughs> The attraction of photography is its ability to take one moment in time and tell a story. Even though modeling is about selling products, once in a while, models are asked to tell a story with just one shot. And that's what the seven remaining ladies have been asked to do. This will probably be the hardest task because with the end so close, someone's dreams will be crushed. Thank you. <laughs> you guys are crying, come on. He like, that is the saddest top five we've ever seen. He's been so much, so, so much. Especially Tindy. Oh no! Home call. And Zime and Asma. I'm just gonna miss everyone. I just hope Zime isn't funny with Rose, honestly. Ooh. And there you have it. Out of hundreds of auditions, out of 15 ladies in the penthouse, one out of five will win Diamond in the Rough. And so the rehearsals begin. It's exactly 24 hours to go to the final test for the ladies. Going down <laughs> one spot only and there's five of us. There's five of us. But I'll push myself tomorrow. I'll, I'll get over the nerves. It's your last chance. Here you go. Remember to breathe. Remember that in your first scene alone, the Jumbo music, you have to slow down, you have to be really, really strong. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we went through eight cities, including those along the diamond route, to look for these rough diamonds. They all went through many trials and tribulations. All 15 of these rough diamonds, of course. Very much like the journey of a diamond. And now, we have five who are all backstage. And who are all very nervous, by the way. And in front of us, we have equally anxious judges, ready and waiting to, uh, well, judge our five contestants. ultimately be one diamond in the rough. And our beloved judges, Sheldon, Megan, Noni, Spiwe, you have a tough job ahead of you. Well, go ahead and deliberate. Good luck. So you've all come the long, hard road. You've all been through a lot. You've become the polished diamonds that we see before us here today. We're very proud of all of you. But there's only one winner for this moment, for the list that I just gave. And that winner is... <laughs> it's Tim Bakazi. Yeah.
exactly. You deserve it. You did well. Congratulations to Temba Ghazi. If modeling is a gateway to the beauty and entertainment industries, then the gates are wide open for the five finalists of Diamond in the Rough. And even those who didn't make it this far still walked away with the possibility of a bright future. And that is something to be proud of. De Beers, living up to the promise of diamonds.